이번 주 구역 공간입니다. This week's study of district message. 예, 하나님은 눈에 안 보이게 계시기 때문에 에, 확실하죠. And because God is not visible is a sure thing. 예, 눈에 보이는 것은 시공간 초월 못하기 때문에 에, 확실치 않습니다. The visible things cannot transcend time and space. That's a t h e y r e not sure thing. 그래서 우상 숭배하는 사람들은 공간에 갇히게 됩니다. 그래서 어, 악한 영이 잡히게 되죠. So people who believe in idolatry there get stuck in their situation. That's why they are about to do evil. 성부 하나님께서는 눈에 안 보이게 우리와 동행하시는 겁니다. The Triune God is walking with us invisibly. 이 확신 가진 만큼 이십오 응답이 옵니다. The more assurance you have of this, you receive the answer of 25 hours. 그래서 예수님께서 하신 말씀이 아무나 부른 게 아니고 원하시는 자들을 부르셨다. That is why he says Jesus called to him those he wanted. 교회는 아무나 와야 되지만 하나님의 백성이 되기 위해서 오는 겁니다. So anyone can come to the church, but they come to be the people of God. 다른 걸로 온다면 교회가 아니죠. If you come for anything else, that's not a church. 뭐 특별한 교회도 만들어야 되지만 모자라는 사람도 올수 있어야 됩니다. And you must make a special church, but the lacking people must be able to come, and that's needed. 많은 분들이 교회를 이해 못하고 있어요. And many don't understand the church. 또 아주 많이 배운 사람도 교회 와야 되지만 못 배운 사람도 와야 됩니다. And the very learned people must come, but the unlearned must come as well. 그리고 부자들도 있지만 가난한 사람들도 와서 은혜 받아야 되는 겁니다. And there are the rich people, but even the poor must come to receive grace. 그래서 원하는 자들을 부르셨고 함께 있기 위해서 불렀다 그랬습니다. And so he called to him those he wanted, and he called them to be with them. 저기 동행이죠. And that is to walk with 그 God. 그 자체가 전도입니다. 또 전도도 하며. That in itself is evangelism. He sent that out to preach. 그러면서 귀신 내어 쫓는 권세도 주기 위함이다. And to have authority to cast out demons. There are many church people and pastors who don't know this meaning. Why did Jesus speak of this? Sixty, seventy people of the Korean uh, nationality they are doing ancestor worship. That is demon worship. And we see the three organizations who are taken over by evil spirits have taken over America. 우리나라도 어, 무당이 30만이 넘습니다. And even in Korea, there are over 300,000 shamans. 어, 이제 종교 등록하려고 몸부림치고 있습니다. And they're trying to make their own established religion with the state. 종교 등록해버리면 상당한 이제 문제가 발생합니다. If they register themselves with the state, now that's going to cause even more spiritual problems. Because they're utilizing democracy to uh, make themselves plausible. Not only that. Much of the culture has turned into a culture of demonology. The Itaewon accident was a culture of demons as well. Much of the posterity, not knowing, have been caught up in this demon culture. What do the church people think? I want to ask the pastors. I want to ask the theologians. Do we have to stay in this way? Completely in Japan, they have this demon culture. They've created toys for children. Who's going to do this work? Satan does this work. The church remains still. They don't know anything about this. Why are you talking about this? Why are you talking about this? 각인된 것이 응답이 와요. So why do we sit here to worship God? The imprinted things will come as a result. 영혼이 안 나가요. 
the eternal things will come. Then what must we imprint right now? And so other than recreation, it won't work. It won't go out. Other than Christ, you cannot change the situation. What is imprinted once is eternally. That is why we worship God at this time. That is why we go share the word to those in difficulty. We must know the reason why the answers don't come right away. It must be imprinted first. To the extent it's imprinted, the answers will come. When you speak of Christ to your children and they feel how great Christ is, that's when it's imprinted. When they feel that God's word is so good, that is when it's imprinted. Then that will go forever. How great is that? That is why we must worship correctly. Because it's time of imprinting. The worship is when you imprint, not any other time. Other times are when you're rooting. No matter who says what, to the extent you root yourself down, you receive answers. The deeper the roots, the more fruits you will bear. And what has become your nature will change your fate. That is bound to happen. And that is why you have a lot of worries in yourself. It will imprint root nature itself. And it will bring about fearful results. That's why Christ, the only way to change this, Christ called us to be with us. These are very important words. And so Jesus didn't just speak. He spoke in this way. It's not difficult, just follow me. He says, follow me. Because I will make you fishers of men. And he says, he'll always be with us. With all authority of heaven and earth. This is imprinted. This will root and become our nature. And at this time, amazing works of world evangelization take place. And it doesn't matter about you or anyone else. Through you, world evangelization will take place. This is what Jesus spoke. In Mark chapter 16, at the very end, he spoke himself. This Lord who is seated on the throne is with him and the sure evidence in my name you'll cast out demons. Absolutely. You'll lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. Even if you drink poison, it will not hurt you. Because you were doing the work of God doing this gospel movement. And this is the conclusion Jesus gave in this way. This is the conclusion Jesus gave. Christ explained about the Christ, the kingdom of God, filling with the Holy Spirit. And what's going to happen if this becomes 24, 25, and eternity? This is what we've been able to see in rate. The reason Koreans can't receive answers is because they're so quick-tempered. And Koreans are in such a rush. I went to Thailand about uh, several years ago. And I was on the river and there was a ship. And on the ship, somebody said, quickly get on board in Korean. And so they know the word quickly. Because when Koreans come, they're always in a rush. Japanese people, they take their time. Koreans are so quick, they must receive answers right away. And so they eat things that are not really the answer. 
That's really quick temper. And what about those who are even bigger rush? The people who in Korea drink coffee so quickly. There's no enjoyment in that. And their candy, they just bite on it. That's how Koreans are. Of course, I'm Korean too. There's good aspects, but there's strange aspects as well. I want to go overseas. I'm kind of embarrassed. Japanese people, when they're getting on a bus, you know, they go down very quietly, even though there's a lot of people. The Koreans are in a group. They're getting so loud as they get on. And the Japanese people, they look at us. Because we're in a rush. There's no need. If this doesn't work, the answers will not come. Doesn't matter how much in a rush you are. If this is something else, it will not be fixed. Doesn't matter how much you complain. This is very important. In this very important time, Jesus didn't speak about anything else. He spoke of the most important things. In my former book, Theophilus, this is talking about Christ. In 40 days, he spoke about the kingdom of God. And he spoke of the sure things. Only. Only, nothing else. If you receive the filling of the Holy Spirit, you'll receive power. And you'll be witnesses to the ends of the earth. And people look at this, they say, I need to do some special prayer. While you are working, you could do this. That's right. If you work, there's so many difficult things. Pray 24 hours a day. This is the difference. There's no other difference. This is the only difference maker. The pastors who aren't able to do world evangelization and me, there's no other difference. They're better than me. Just this difference. And if you enjoy it, the answers will come. And you say, if I go to church, there's these problems. It's because they're so rushed. It's not the case. Your thinking is the problem. No matter what problem there is, cannot overcome this man. That's right. No matter what disaster comes to your family, cannot overcome Christ, the kingdom of God, and the filling of the Holy Spirit. But without realizing that, you have put the opposite things as your imprints. You imprinted yourself with incorrect things without realizing these roots have taken down. One day I one day I didn't do anything wrong. These problems are coming to my family. And that's because it's become your fate. You're coming and receiving the word and praying. It doesn't seem like much, but this is what happens. And so district message, don't force it on the kids. The kids must have fun. That's when it's ingrained. And that's the kids really like the funny teacher. And we had an assistant pastor back when I was young. He was very funny. Everybody liked him. And when I looked at him, he just didn't speak of the gospel. And there was this pastor who came. He always told us stories. And that was so great. But he just did not speak of the gospel. He just didn't speak of this. And so I didn't realize the gospel until I was a young adult. An adult. Because I've never heard it before. And so they speak of the correct things, just like the Pharisees, but they don't speak of the gospel. You must remember this. If you remain in this way, what answers come first? Your job must not seem like much, but the only answer will come. 
You had no status whatsoever, but now you've received this answer. Uniqueness. Finally, the answer of recreation to save that. The imprint root in nature will have this result. What's going to happen if for three days all you do is just concern yourself? You will be have crushed. Or to this very famous conference in Washington of this pastor is a great pastor and a professor. And somebody came to him and really pleaded with him, you know, please uh, label Pastor Yu and Darapang as a heresy because we really got to block them. And he was a professor at the time going around giving lectures, but he was really a man of conscience. I don't know if they're heresy or not. How could I just falsely label them? And so he concerned himself all night long with this. And so he looked at all the materials, went online, contacted people. No matter how much he looked at it, it was not a heresy. This is a very smart man. He was able to see that these people are trying to push it into a heresy. He knew that there were people continuously criticizing it, trying to move the status quo. And the first day he went out to give lectures, he continuously started drinking water. And he said, I thought about it all night long. I prayed about it. Tarapang is not a heresy. And he was kicked out right at that spot. The three-day conference was canceled. And when he went to school, he was cut from being a professor. And he was so stressed by this, one day he came to see me. And so because of this stress, it caused him to have blood pressure problems and diabetes problems, and he fell over. Just three days of imperial nature will cause that. And so he gave me a number and he says, please look after your health. And I think he has good intentions. At this time, what is the evidence? It comes to me, others will know as well. With. With. God is with me. When is it I receive the most grace? When I realize God is with me. Emmanuel. God is with the church, with us. Everything seemed like a struggle and hardship, but when we look back, it's everything a blessing of oneness. And this is the proper walking with God answer. We must be sure of this. In the church and headquarters, there's many workers. And it is most difficult work at times. But if you enjoy this blessing, you are really doing the best. The hidden works that people do all around the church, that is the most important work. So many people are not sharing the gospel, but uniquely we are sharing the gospel to America. And 
those hidden workers in the church and headquarters, you need to know how important they are. They must have time to enjoy this. 자, 그러면 이 위드의 축복이 있으면 어떤 문제, 어떤 답이 나오죠? And so if you have this blessing of with, what is the answer? 어디에 있어도 상관없어요. It doesn't matter where you 그렇죠. are. 이게 중요한 겁니다. That's very important. 이 위드의 축복을 내가 누리지 못하면 약간만 문제 와도 내가 어려운 거예요. If I don't enjoy this blessing of with, even if a small problem comes, I'm shaking. If I'm enjoying the blessing of Emmanuel, it doesn't matter who I meet. If I'm not really conscious of this blessing of Emmanuel, 그렇죠. I will change according to the meetings 아, I have. 뭐, if I meet an evil person, I turn evil. If I meet a strange person, I turn strange. If I meet a good person, I'll be good. 만약에 여러분의 자녀와 후대가 이렇게 되면 안 되잖아. 이 축복을 받아서 누굴 만나도 괜찮아요. Now this shouldn't be the case for your posterity or your children. It doesn't matter who you meet. It should be okay. 그리고 이 지금 원내서의 축복을 누리면요. 어떤 일이 있어도 괜찮아. If you enjoy the blessing of one, it doesn't matter what happens. And so realistically, you're receiving these answers. You just don't realize. But if you know, you will be able to benefit in many ways. And when you start receiving these answers, you realize how important you are. It doesn't matter what job. You could be cleaning. Joseph was cleaning every day. He became the prime minister. And so many remnants, young adults, they think about what job should I get? Don't worry about it. If you enjoy just wherever you are, the answers will come. Just keep that in mind. So it doesn't matter where you are, who you meet, and what happens. I'm not consoling you. This is the truth. You must have the eyes to see this. And the biggest hardship I had over the 40 years of the evangelism movement is the people around me. They had so many hardships and conflicts and fighting each other. But even in these flabbergasting situations, I enjoy this blessing. And always the conclusion, the reason I heard these things is because it's my fault. And so I'm not a thief, but if people keep saying you're a thief and you stole something, that's just strange words. And if I haven't conned anybody, but they keep saying I'm a con man, then I got to really think about that. And if you come to that conclusion, then you will be able to see many things for yourself. And this blessing will come. My experience is 40 years. I must respect people, but I must truly look upon the word of God. So I'll give you very few uh, easy examples. Joseph. Joseph. And so look at the booklet carefully, but I'm just going to give you this explanation. And the triune God is always with me. And so Joseph continued to enjoy this blessing. Then what? Some things you must keep in mind. Answers are answers, but no answers are answers as well. 
그게 응답이요. And so God is with me. That in itself is an answer. 아니, 감옥에서 장관을 도와줬더니 장관이 나가서 요셉을 잊어버렸단 말이요. And so you helped a person in prison, but they forgot about him when they went out of prison. Of course, Joseph could say, how could they forget about me after all I did for them? But for Joseph, that was an answer. And you know about the blessing of Emmanuel, but I'll give you one example. David. And he has many, but he enjoyed the most. And so if you have the assurance of this spiritual system of the blessing of Emmanuel, then all the blessing meanings will come. And so if you just pray a little bit, enjoying these answers without being deceived, then all the blessing of meetings will come. Then before when you went to church, you were tested, but now when you go to the church, you receive answers. Now when you go to church, you go as a witness with evidence. 오늘 주일날 여러분이 예배드리는데 제일 중요한 것은 여러분이 지난주에 메시지와 함께 들은 어떤 증거를 갖고 있다 예배드리러 왔다 다릅니다. This is the Lord's day we're worshiping here today. But if you're holding on to the evidence of last week's message, then it's different. 어 제가 수많은 메시지를 하는데 제일 중요한 게 뭔가 하니까 내 말을 하면 안 되잖아요. 그래서 하나님 주신 증거 그 붙잡고 또 증인으로 서요. I give many messages, but I shouldn't speak my own words, so I focus on the words of God and the evidence I receive through that. 여러분, and when you give worship today, you must discover this. 증거냐, the fact that God is with me, then what evidence did he give me? And when you have a problem, 각인돼요. you shouldn't embrace that problem and go to sleep with it. You'll be imprinted by it. You shouldn't go to sleep thinking, oh, why is that person like that? You must keep this in mind. That's where everything results. You must go to sleep holding on to the answer that God gives. Then the evidence will come. And with that evidence, you come to church. What is the problem that you have? You shouldn't just worship God and go to sleep holding on to that problem. You must have the answer from God. It doesn't matter if it's a big problem. It doesn't come quickly. It doesn't matter. That was the characteristic of Joseph, David. They had the answer already. And so everything comes together for the good, and you're able to see that ahead of time. 자, 여러분은 현장을 가는데 막 요셉이나 뭐 어려운 길 갔잖아요. 그게 전부 다가 어, 하나님 뜻을 이루시는 전부 축복의 길이 된 거죠. You see, Joseph and David, all these figures went through very difficult struggles, but it was all a way of blessing. 합쳐서 응답이 나니까. It was the answer, everything coming together. In all situations, you're able to see the oneness. And it's not consoling, it is absolutely the truth. And on this Lord day, you must truly hold on to the covenant and pray in peace. You must enter into deep prayer, not just for the answer, but the God-given answer. And so you worship with that, and then you go home. And throughout the week, you will meet with your district members or through the regional church. And now you share that, your evidence as a witness. Truly, it will come alive. 그래서 여러분이 하는 작은 일이 하나님은 세계보에 쓰시는 귀중한 일로 바뀔 겁니다. And your small works will be used greatly by God for world evangelization. 
In conclusion, and Paul spoke important words in Philippians chapter 3. Paul is a very well-learned man. If Paul was unlearned and he said this, that's kind of weird. He says, I consider all the knowledge I've learned uh, rubbish and as loss. I've realized the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. And he says very strangely, he says, I haven't accomplished anything. I've done nothing. And what does that write? And when he said these words, he did so many things. He should have said, I've done many things through God, but actually he's right because through the grace of God, he did everything. He says, I just head toward, hold on to Christ. And I head for the uh, reward that is heavenward. And so uh, Paul is importantly saying that we don't need the other things. We need the reward from heaven. And he has a Roman citizenship. It's a great thing, but he has heavenly citizenship. And when you have this true peace, and that is imprint rooted nature, then everything is healed. Don't try to fix it, but in thankfulness, truly change your imprint root nature. People with spiritual problems, don't worry about it. Change your imprint root nature. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks. May this be the precious day throughout all day worship we receive the great blessings of God. May we have the new challenge to change your imprint root in nature. May the witnesses who receive the true answers. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.